A damp, miserable morning in Chicago. A heroin user picks up a batch of 1,000 clean needles from a mobile needle exchange van. The US opioid epidemic shows few signs of ending and has also brought a secondary outbreak, the rampant spread of hepatitis C. This outreach program provides a free testing service, but that is where the help often ends. People are being diagnosed with hepatitis C and they're not getting any treatment. So if they don't get treatment, they, going, they are going to die. I meet Leroy Getz, a heroin user of 15 years, who has also tested positive for hepatitis C. He says most users simply don't know the consequences of sharing needles and contracting hep C. Everybody I know that hustles, that, that, that shoots dope, everybody I know has it. Yeah. I mean, I could, I, I could probably, off the top of my head, probably about 50 people downtown that I know that has hepatitis you got it C. Just left it, yeah. They don't know what, how bad it can actually be. Without treatment, hepatitis C often manifests into severe, life-threatening liver disease and cancer. But the treatment costs tens of thousands of dollars. This is West Garfield Park in the western suburbs of Chicago. This is the epicenter of Chicago's heroin trade and an area with a high incidence of diseases such as hepatitis C. Dante Williams is the hepatitis C program coordinator for the Caring Ambassadors nonprofit advocacy group. He grew up in the area. He says one challenging issue is getting health insurance to pay for treatment. If your liver hasn't been uh, beat up to the point where, you know, it's going to be absolutely detrimental to your health uh, in the near future, they will allow you to the disease to progress. Andrew Aronson is a leading hepatologist, a liver specialist at the University of Chicago. He's calling for a nationwide program to tackle the issue. Um, these are people that, uh, when, without care, they will, they will frequently die of their disease. Besides being the right thing to do for those people and to get them the care that they need, this also will continue to be a public health risk because they will continue to transmit the virus to other people unless we take care of it. Experts warn that unless the issue is addressed, the impact on health services in future decades could be crippling. Dan Williams, CGTN, Chicago.